Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Retro Tech Coms. I'm your host, Jacob of Retro Tech, and I am I am elated. I am so happy that Arlo was fucking wrong. <laughs> There's another Nintendo Direct. Thank goodness. I am very pleased about that. I'm here with uh Von Red One and uh Noisy Worm. Uh both Everyone. friends of mine, IRL. How's it going? Uh this is a first time for uh the normal noisy worm to be on Retro Tech Com. So welcome to the crew. I feel special. I feel welcomed. Good. I'd like a kiss on the cheek. Good, excellent. Mwah. That's just for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, we know that they're going to give us 50, 50 minutes of information, as it says right there, on uh, Smash Brothers. Uh, they're obviously going to show off a new fighter. Who do you think it is? If I had to guess, I think it's going to be someone from the Sonic um, franchise. Uh, okay, up oh, it is starting. My only predictions for this going in are something Sonic related and those Pokemon remakes officially being announced. Nah, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty good. That's pretty good I, realistic I expectation to have, guess. honestly. What was that? Uh, what was that noisy worm? I couldn't think of a guess. It, we've gotten Steve and we've gotten Sephiroth. Wow, they're starting immediately with it. Ah, uh, well, uh, Cooper Clan's going to be very happy about this. Oh, is this Xenoblade Chronicles X? Uh, it could be. Uh, it's definitely Xenoblade. Well, yeah, well, Pyra is a name from 2, Chronicles 2. Well, I, I recognize the main character. That's definitely Rex. I think. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely Xenoblade, so I'm going to guess this is Xenoblade X. Someone go ahead and tell him in the chat. Don't say it's X just yet. Just say something Xenoblade. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, true. Let's just just be a cash in. It's you know Blade Chronicles Two Definitive Edition, even though it's a native Switch game. I'll find you. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's a distinct possibility. I don't know anything about Xenoblade, so none of this imagery means anything to me. So I I'm no actually playing through um Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive right now. Uh huh. I'm actually enjoying it. I got oh. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, fuck all that. Um, she's joining Smash Brothers. All right, never mind. Uh, the new Smash character is Pyra. That is... <laughs> and you wouldn't be excited that I haven't played two yet. Wouldn't you know, it's another fucking sword fighter. Oof. They sure do love their sword fighters. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. But whatever. At least it's not a Fortnite character. Oh, is that a counter? Oh, is this an echo oh, yeah, fighter? She, her ability, well, her character, I know enough. She has like two personalities, kind of. Ah, uh, I see. Like, that one is more aggressive. Yeah, Mithra. Mithra. Cutting it close, huh? Hey, okay. Gee, I feel kind of bad now. Coming through. Oh, snap. Honestly, I think, I think it'd be a pretty safe assumption that the rest of the characters are just going to be sword fighters. So if they got a sword, Honestly, they have a higher yeah. chance. If they got a sword, they got a higher chance of being in. I mean, hell, after many years, Ganondorf finally got his sword. <laughs> so whatever. I like how they did this invitation. So they're uh, doing this kind of like how, um, was it Peach and Sheik in Brawl that could like switch? Yeah. Okay, they're doing it kind of like that then. Okay, the new stage looks pretty cool. 
I wonder how many people are upset that uh, Pyra and Mithra got in rather than Rex. I mean, they already have Shulk. They already have one main protagonist. That's true. Oh my god, one of her taunts is literally just that weird, like, hand in front of the chest thing that Marth does. Yep. Uh, that's that's a character, all right. So it's not Xenoblade Chronicles X. At least not yet. At least not yet, that's true. We have, like, 45 more minutes of direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. Annyeonghaseyo. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. What did you say? Annyeonghaseyo. Uh, translation please. It's hello. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't remember what language that is. Okay. Okay. I want to say it was like Japanese. Was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their move set in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. This fighter releases in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned. Just sometime in March. Okay. All right. Let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. All right, bring me the headlines. Let's go. Fall Guys. There it is, Fall Guys Switch. I knew it was going to be an inevitability. It was going to happen, but yeah. Well, it looks like it that leaker was right. Ah, oh, boy. Oh? There's, al so there's always a leaker. Always. Forever. Amen. Yep. Uh, all I'm going to say is, um, like an hour ago, <laughs> someone put out a leak of like the third party stuff for this direct. It looks underwhelming. I'm hoping that like maybe he just got some stuff and they didn't he didn't get all of it. Stumble toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system summer 2021. Okay. I the Fall Guys thing was just like <laughs> whatever. I didn't really care about it all that much. Oh, Outer Wild Switch. Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the Oh, okay. I've heard about this. Um, don't know anything about the game. Uh, one of my friends on another Discord really likes this game, though. This might be a different Outer Wilds from what I'm thinking. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. Oh, is this like a roguelite then? By repeating these cycles. You'll gradually I remember when this was a, was announced. I think this was announced at a Microsoft conference. What messages Ooh. will you discover? Hopefully, this is better than No Man's Sky. Why is the hey, bro, I've I heard that it. No Man's Sky <laughs> is good now. <laughs> Find out. Outer Wilds. Okay, yeah, it's just. What am I thinking Wilds? about? Oh, I'm thinking of that Forest game. Got the names confused for a Watch second. Watchtower or, or Firewatch, Firewatch or whatever Watch, it was called. It. Yeah, it was Firewatch. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind, two deep cuts from Nintendo history, are coming to North America for the first time. Okay. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense. What? The? That's just a... Hold up. That was just a fucking judge from Ace Attorney. Excuse me? You'll be on the edge of your seat as you... That old guy with the round beard. Yeah. Like he was from, uh... In one game. Yeah, that's from, just uh, that's just the judge from Ace Attorney. Family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. <laughs> but that's not the only case to crack. In the other game, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? 
ここから出して自分の目の前に沈めの少女の。Alright. Looks like the girl who stands behind is more、uh, creepy fair. And Famicom Detective Club, the girl who stands behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. A new age of battles begins. Oh. It's a DLC for Hyrule Warriors. And、uh, I don't. I think so. That's.、Mm -hmm. Oh. That's a Oh, no.、Style. This is. Oh, wait. Hey, wait. Is this just straight up Dynasty Warriors? I say, I think this is just the OG Warriors. <laughs> I mean, okay. Fair enough. Admittedly, I am not familiar with Dynasty Warriors. Oh, it's Samurai, Samurai Warriors War 5. Samurai Warriors 5. Yeah, okay, so it's made by Koei. Yep. Yeah, admittedly, I'm not familiar with the Dynasty Warrior se series or the Samurai Warrior series or any of the other offshoots. <laughs> My introduction to the series and the only game that I've played is not even from the series. It's Hyrule Warriors. Yep. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. This art style. Yeah. One versus 1,000 battles. In Samurai Warriors 5, slashing its way onto Nintendo. Ever since,、uh, oh god, what's the name that、uh, Dickhead McGee directed?、Um, Okami. Ever since Okami,、uh, a lot of developers have been really interested in, like, the really thick, messy outline, bl like, black outlines for characters. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Before discovering the world map is empty. During your travels,、okay. you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts. It's、well、a different way to play a game.、Story. Yeah. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Ah, now that's good. I like being able to switch between original soundtracks and, like, the new arranged stuff. It's really nice. Oh, Monster Hunter. Oh! Ah, you're a little bit ahead of me then. Haha. <laughs> I, all I had to see was two seconds and I saw it coming. I, I just needed <laughs> those two seconds. Yeah. Oh,、uh, oh, oh hello. That looks so sick. Hello, Rathalos. Look, everyone, it's Rathalos from Super Smash Brothers. Oh. <laughs>、uh... Yeah, I wanted I, I wanted to play Monster Hunter World, but unfortunately, all the people that I knew who played Monster Hunter World had it on PlayStation 4. And I didn't want to get it on PlayStation 4 because that means I'd have to buy PlayStation Plus, and fuck that! <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm probably going to end up playing it on PS5 because it was in the PS Plus collection. Uh, And it runs at like 60 frames now on PS5. Wait, he, he looks exactly like the commander or. Looks like a Japanese version of him, at least. Right, I already love the voices too. The voice acting is actually very nice, yes. I'm, I'm in love right now. <laughs> Capcom has gone a long way in terms of voice acting. Oh, man. Oh. Yo, I'm so stoked about this. 
Yeah, I'm sure uh, one of my friends on the other Discord is going to be excited about all this new footage. Oh, I'm so giddy over this. Monster Hunter Rise. Inoa, we should start preparations right away. We're here to 26. All right. Mark that down. All right, have it pre-ordered. Who do I care? March 26th. Okay. Five days after Mario. Oh, wait, no. Four days before Mario's death. Wait, is that the right? <laughs> I'm I'm dumb. I can't math. I'm a film student for reasons, guys. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise. Someone in the chat just said Elon Musk for Smash. <laughs> Hell yeah! These ferocious monsters. He'll he'll smoke a fat doobie and then laugh at drowning deer. Now the rest of this presentation is going to be people playing Doom on ridiculous contraptions. Oh yeah, uh, didn't you say that oh, someone man. played yeah, that Doom on a pregnancy right. test? Yeah, that threw me. They had like I don't know how they did it, but they had like a keyboard, and you could see it was just black and gray pixels, and they were playing Doom on it. I was like, yo, that's how do you even figure this out? Are you your child? Well, that was, your that child was one hundred percent right. So yep. Unfortunately, this is going to be an underwhelming direct. Your child yeah, well, can be played on anything. Well, I'm just happy that a direct even exists in the first place. Yeah, I'm not really excited for Mario Golf. It's never been my series. The only times that I've played Mario Golf were the two times that I decided to give it a go at the dentist office when I was a kid. And they had those like... <laughs> Those like, like they had the those TV systems where the controllers attached, and they had like, inside was a GameCube or a Nintendo sixty four game. Yeah, that was That's, more that was the entire Mario story. Superstar baseball person. I tried Mario Strikers Charge, and I enjoyed what I played. I always liked picking uh, like three like okay hitters and then you pick like a beefcake like Bowser and you just slam that ball into a home run. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I like this wow. idea. Yeah, it's like get like get in the hole as fast as you can. That's a really good idea. That's like a golf with your friends idea. I thought we were just getting a golf game. Now it. As a me character, yep. now it up the game on golfing. Me okay. characters will never die. <laughs> there they are. I'm for it. I like the me's. As dumb and low poly as they are. Did you ever see that thing? How um, apparently Breath of the Wild's character creator is um a more advanced version of the same me system yeah, that's why some of the characters look so fucking dubious <laughs> oh it's that's so good i love that fun fact the latest game in the mario golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. I mean, not the game for me, but all right. Switch headlines. Yeah. Ah, oh, I see that transition he did. Very clever. Is this just Tales of the Border? Man, that leak was right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. So it's this. So the rest of it's going to be pretty underwhelming. Yep. All right. Well, that, it was all third party that was leaked and Mario Golf. Oh, okay. Hey, it's zero. I've never played Tales from the Borderlands. I've only, I have only played Borderlands two. I need to get around to the rest of the series, though. I was no. really disappointed with pre-sequel because that was a really short game and uh, just lacked a lot. I haven't played three yet. But I don't think anyone's going to give up on Borderlands 2. Was that the arcade like... version? I I'm sorry. Yep. I'm sorry, okay. Mr. Worm. But was that the arcade version of Ghosts and Goblins? 
I think they, yeah, they said those are all the arcade things. Oh shit! Doug's I, the zombie. Fuck, huh? I'm gonna have to get that then because I have not played the arcade version of Ghosts and Goblins. Also, what the hell is this? I like it already. <laughs> this was a, I believe it was an Xbox exclusive, the original Xbox. Oh, sweet. So now you can get it without having to take out a loan. Sweet. All right, now do Jet Set Radio Future. Who? I know, I know. Travis touchdown versus aliens? Excuse me. Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up, is this even the right game? Oh yeah, that's right. I f I completely forgot about this trailer. The aliens have taken over. Yes. Intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Does he have like a Switch controller on his hand? Probably. No, uh, no more, no more heroes games are very, very cheeky about design choices like that. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to yeah, right do odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. Let me close my door real quick. This is. <laughs> I am so happy for all the No More Heroes fans, because I've watched No More Heroes and I've watched part of No More Heroes through two from Brain Scratch Coms, and the games look so quality. So I'm very happy for all the fans. Fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to kick some uh whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it all makes <laughs> a sense. reference. No more three, oh Earth. shit, you right, yeah. Nintendo Switch. Uh, once again, No More Heroes is very cheeky about its references. Exterminate demons in he heaven. Oh, he almost said a naughty word. Oh, okay. hell yeah! Guns in oh, heaven. No. Let's go. Oh no, this actually was kind of cool though. A little bit of uh. Oh, oh, it's a card-based thing. The second you show me cards, I lose interest. I'm sorry. Yep. Kingdom Hearts ruined cards. Kingdom Hearts for ruined me. cards for me. <laughs> Savanti, you and I are birds of a feather. Damn it, that's so sad. Cards have been ruined because of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm sure there's an audience for it. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. The DC superhero Not Marvel too happy. To it's so nice day. to hear the transition Hi, music everyone. again. My name is Barbara Gordon. Oh. AKA oh, okay. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime. Like my well, I hate the 2D art style uh, that they're showing in the art. It looks better than that Zack Snyder Justice League trailer. <laughs> yeah, it's got colors. Ooh. <laughs> and it's not in 4 by 3 We fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the So I'm going to guess this is based off of some cartoon. There's never a dull moment I don't think so, but I really feel like I'm just playing a game version of a cartoon. Oh boy, it's a girl games. We got girls games. Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming. But when justice calls, you can count on us to I don't think that's how buildings fall, but all right. Go on. Make sure no one figures out our I mean, this still looks better than most Xbox first party games. DC superhero girl team power. What era are you talking about? The current era. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, this Plans Go for the zombies? jugular, why don't you? Uh, yeah, this is definitely uh, Plants vs. Zombies. Oh boy, fly to the Valkyries. Can't wait to get content ID claimed from some bullshit orchestra recording company. <laughs> Even though you're not supposed to be able to fucking copyright claim classical music! Alright, good. But it yeah, owns sync more beat to it, so it's mine now. Wait, what now? 
But I added an unsynced beat to it, so it's mine now. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> I added one measure of syncopation. It's mine. I can tell from that bleep bloop of the pizzicato strings that it is mine. Yeah, I... You know, it's funny. A couple days ago, I was actually playing the OG Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> and, yeah, just, they they turned it into a first-person shooter, and I was not behind that idea. I'm still not behind the idea. Wait, first-person? Yeah. Or third-person, excuse me. Mm -hmm. I don't fucking... I can't tell, I can't tell between my persons. Played Plants vs. Zombies, I think it was two. Yeah. I actually enjoyed it. Just not enough to keep playing it forever. Yeah, I just... Yeah. Okay. Yep, it's Miitopia. That was weird. It's one of those very Nintendo-centric games. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature. Oh, that's cool. With your I, remember, I remember when this feature was first a thing on the 3DS. In the world of me and it's pretty much looks like it's structured exactly the same. Consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. Except obviously this fleshed out more. Because it was very much a nothing game on the 3DS. Sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good. <sighs> Terrible. Oh, I hate that pun. I hate that pun in particular. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp. Me too. <laughs> I like that the evil overlord can have a dumbass face. That's great. That's what I was thinking. It just looks weird. That's the, I mean, all me's look weird. Super Mario themed items are coming. Already Super Mario themed items in the game. Mario well, I guess they're just adding more. themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Okay, cool. Familiar items. Oh, that's Super cute. Mario it plays a little jingle. Block can be ordered in game as all right, pee all the people on my island. <laughs> so play some oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. You actually did for a short time play Animal Crossing New Horizons. <laughs> I was shocked by that. That's usually not your kind of game. Where the lockdown will do to you. Hey, I mean, whatever. To travel between locations on your I'm sure you chewed through um, hey, Doom Eternal very quickly, kingdom. so you needed something else. A free update for the game launches February 25th. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. Cute. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. I'm sure Crystal and Pat are very excited about that. How was that? These collaborations. Well, mainly Crystal. Pat, I'm sure, couldn't give a fuck. The Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Okay. Speaking of which, last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. Did that launch? Hope you enjoyed that Mario adventure. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even fucking realize. <laughs> next, I thought it was like releasing next month or something. I thought it was I thought it was going to launch after Mario's death on the 31st. Ooh. Is this a Fire Emblem thing? He leaves us no recourse. Swords. Oh. S. Ross will answer for its crimes today. It. It looks like Octopath Traveler. Raised Earth and burned hmm. corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed it looks very much like octopath traveler and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest together with these fields 
Uh oh. They gave a credit in the music. That means that this is gonna get fucking content claimed. Oof. Every last one of us. Project Triangle Strategy. Yeah, it's definitely Octopath Traveler. Or a sequel. Comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources. Salt and iron. Gamers have a plenty of one and no lack the no. other. Though the hostilities ceased with an uneasy truce. I'm sorry, that wasn't wow. a very, that wasn't a very well structured joke. I apologize. <laughs> that was a that was a bona fide embarrassment. Honestly, I should just end Imagine my career fighting at this over point. salt. Abra, hey, you ever have unsalted meat? <laughs> Nothing blander. Ah. Uh, Egghead. The cool RPG. Oh no. Okay, it is not Octopath Traveler. It is a uh, tactical RPG. Okay. Yep, that means I won't give a single fuck about this game. <laughs> Such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. An enemy outflanked is susceptible not only to your. I don't want to play these stupid chess games. God damn it! Well, there's obviously someone's got to like it because Fire Emblem still exists. So, yeah. don't forget about XCOM and also that Mario and. Uh, Rabbids Kingdom Battle game. Someone's gotta fucking love it, I guess. I played that game and I was so upset that I bought it. <laughs> oh. You didn't like it at all? <laughs> Not one bit. No. I didn't even, like, finish the first, like, fight, I think, and I gave up. <laughs> yeah. The story, you will be faced with but it's not Octopath Traveler, but it's very obviously done by the same people. Yeah. And if it's not done by the same people, I am shocked because it looks strikingly like it. Will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join. Okay, so it's got a morality system. Once more, I would ask you plainly: Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favorite cause. Now I gotta say, if this is done by the same people who did Octopath Traveler, I have one caveat for you people. If you're going to have voice acting in your game, go the length and voice the entire fucking game. Your journey may take you down Or... <laughs> if you don't do that, have like their have like their voice lines be like grunts and groans and like random other sounds that people make. Because I do not need to be reading dialogue and then have a completely unrelated non sequitur line that was said earlier with voice acting repeated to me, alright? That's stupid. After this presentation, a demo demo will be available to download on Nintendo eShop. And in the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. Oh, that's look nice. Forward to hearing your responses on the demo. All right, cool. I'm going to play the demo, and I'm specifically going to fill out the survey so I can tell them that. RPG from Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Calling all hunters! Do you have what it takes? Hunter? Hunter? Wars. Star Wars. It's Star Wars. It's a game called Star Wars Hunters, I think. Is this a new game or is it an old game? I have no idea. It might be a new game. Cool. That no. didn't tell me anything about the game. Between episode six and seven. Clash in this third person shooter. Oh, it's a third person shooter. Switch in 2021. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. All right, <clears throat> do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Corgan love battle. 
Gorgon used many weapons. Triple-bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul-devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. My line of work? Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming okay. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't do much for me. Sorry. Just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm going to lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Gorgon want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I'm like a lieutenant. I have no idea what kind of game this is. Uh, oh, you know what? It looks like a dodgeball game. <laughs> I, like, I like her tiny pixely sprite playing on a giant controller. This looks alright. Yeah. No way. What? You can use a dude as a bomb or a ball. Can't believe we're losing to a bunch of dairy farmers. Okay, team. They may have won the battle. So is this like a crossover of like different IPs? I I don't understand. I don't know any of these people. I, I don't know. I, I don't know any of these characters. Like I don't fucking know what this is. Out city. I mean, okay. EA Originals. I think that's just a whole bunch of new IP. It's a new IP. It's just a bunch of non sequitur characters smashed together. All right, whatever. Hang on tight, cause you're all going to oh wait, did you say EA? Yeah. Oh fuck that then. Of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park. Ooh. The twelve of you, known if only Jonathan was here to see that. Now survive this game of fate. To see what? Costs. Uh, this game. Oh, okay. Because he plays. He played it at least, Duncan Rampa. The game is suddenly called off. Okay. You escape I the think. theme park and get a glimpse of Japan. I don't know. But everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side scrolling action with suspense. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that child drawing? That was amazing. Between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club, venturing onto Nintendo Switch. May 28th. I don't know about the rest of the game, but that childhood drawing monster so in the background was kind of cool. Release of Hades. Oh. Hades, oh, that's cool. Critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. Everyone and their mother that I know, like in real life and on Twitter, is fucking obsessed with this game. The game is really good. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what everyone says. I've, I've, I've basically beat it. Now I'm just, if I keep playing, I'm going for like the secret epilogue ending. Uh, you have to play it a lot, though, don't you? Yeah. I'm to a point now where I have to just level up my relationship with each of the main gods. Yeah. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. That's cool. Three deadly action games. Oh, Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. Hello there. Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3. I remember, I remember Daniel played this shit a lot on PSP. Yeah, this is, this is news that'd be relevant to Daniel. You are the legendary ninja. I remember playing Sigma, the, the first one. Dude, I remember in high school, uh, Daniel playing this on his PlayStation Vita and bringing it to school, playing it in the morning. What we would all stand on the helicopter pad. When I played it, there's like a, I think there's like a big titty, like, damsel in distress in this. Oh, is that her? Okay. I don't know. There's one of them. Noisy worm, like the noisy worm sees woman with boob. Is that her? 
It was like the start of the game and like my mom walked past and she was like, what are you playing? I was like, I just came to kill. <laughs> what are you playing that has big boob? That was like when I was a kid. I was like, uh, here we are. Little me didn't understand boobs. Here's uh, here's the D uh, the DS. What the fuck was I? No, the DLC, as I wanted to say, the DLC announcement, most likely, probably for Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. Call this game Frame Rate Warriors. Cause that frame rate was oh, looking rough. Oh, it is. It is looking dubious as hell. Oh, looks like new weapons. Yep, new characters. Hello. So we get to oh yeah, play. what did you think about them pulling a Final Fantasy VII remake with the story of this game? Whatever, whatever. It was an excuse. <laughs> whatever. It was an excuse to get characters from the future timeline into the previous timeline. What the fuck ever. Four heroes of light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the brave and default. And besides, it's not a Final Fantasy VII remake ism, because Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity isn't like a timeless classic like Final Fantasy VII. A new trailer. Or rather, Breath of the Wild rather isn't a timeless classic like Final Fantasy VII. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, Bravely Default 2. That's neat. The latest installment in the legendary Ghost uh, and, and Goblin Ghost and Goblins Resurrection. I fucking hate how this game looks animated. I still can't get over it. I don't like it. The art style is fine. The animation, fuck me, I hate it. Arthur and his quest with one of three supporting characters. Barry for defense, Carrie for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now. That being said, I'm probably still gonna buy it anyway because I'm a glutton for punishment when it's from Eight Ghosts and Goblins. It's like a bad abusive relationship. Has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus. There's a surprising amount of classic Square stuff here. Game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. This free right. battle royale. Apex Legends. Okay. Powerful contenders named Legends. I wish you want to play this on Switch. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Someone, oh, someone does. And 30 free levels for the season eight. Me personally, no. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. Well, there's an excuse. Uh, you can get double XP for the first week or two. There's still a little bit more to show you. Oh, a little bit more. They're pulling a classic Nintendoism. Next, please take a look. It's not gonna be anything good. Probably not. But you never know. It could be Breath of the- It's Breath of the Wild 2 news, and that's fucking my boy Alnuba! I'm sure a lot of you- There he is. Well, I'll, <laughs> I'll gladly eat my words. Breath of the Wild game. Unfortunately, we don't have- Oh, never mind. Never mind! No news! Why are you here then? smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. You got me excited, you fuck! have to ask you to wait just- These niggas are announcing- an announcement of an announcement. While you're all waiting, I'm just here for you to look at. Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Good Lord. Switch. Never mind. It's a di completely different Legend of Zelda game. Ocarina of Time. Skyward Sword. God oh. damn it! <laughs> How did do... they said they weren't gonna fucking do this? How are they gonna do the control scheme though? Look, look. My That's biggest. Like, no. My biggest. <laughs> My biggest fucking issue with this game was the pacing and the control scheme. If they fix the control scheme, that's half of the problem fixed, and I might end up liking it a little. I can try this one. That guy was just as creepy. And How's the control scheme work? Without it. Zelda Skyward Sword HD. 
This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. It's been 10 years. Yep. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote. It has. Oh my God. Sword yep. And the nunchuck controller as a shield. It was the 25th the anniversary game. Power of the Nintendo Switch system. The controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. Okay, so the classic controls are still the same. Neat, whatever. Show me the revised controls that make it a, like a normal game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can like, look, I like, like, I like motion control gimmicks. Like, I'm one of the few people that do, but it did not work in Skyward Sword. It was way too much. There you go. Sure it can be played yes! Mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite. Yes! After mulling over how to Fuck! assign different game Good. elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control. Stick. Yes! Oh my god, dude! That is exactly the idea that I proposed <laughs> many times! Fuck! I might actually like Skyward Sword now! To the left. Holy shit! The madman actually fucking did it! Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. Oh boy, can't wait for these to fucking start drifting within a month. While the left features a Hylian shield motif. The Legend of Zelda That's Skyward pretty cool. That's really cool. Yeah, I like that. In the Legend of Zelda time, God damn it, I can feel my wallet loosening. Fuck me. Master Sword itself. I'm a I'm a fucking slut for Zelda. The original game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering I'll try this one out now. Yeah, now that it has a like a fucking normal control scheme, hell well, yeah. That's close to my birthday. Lit. Skyward HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. Oh, I am I am excited. I am excited. Like holy shit. Retailers. <laughs> Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, mm -hmm. using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls. Yeah, hey, I remember the brain. lime wheel. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this okay. game a try as well. Oh god, I hope Fi doesn't inter interrupt me every single time that my battery's about to run out. Well, what did you think? The Legend of I think that was very underwhelming <laughs> for a year off. <laughs> Yeah, but hey, Skyward Sword with a normal ass control scheme, sign me the fuck up. Okay, the next game will be our last Something else. announcement for today. Oh, we have one more announcement. It's probably the Pokemon remix. I just realized he has one off color button. Oh, fuck, this looks like the opening shot to Sonic Boom. Oh, never mind. Broken trains and shit. Platoon 3? Splatoon 3. Wow, look at that. Yep, that is definitely Splatoon. Or maybe an expansion. It's been too long for it to really be an expansion. It might be Splatoon 3 then. Either way, I don't give a fuck about Splatoon, so rip. But hey, people who like Splatoon, look at you. <gasps> little buddy, you can customize now. your little buddy. Oh, oh, it's just hair. Oh, well, that's a that's a letdown, but whatever. Baby steps, baby steps. Holy shit! How far in the but, fucking future is this? Hey, enough to have a Eiffel Tower upside down. And <laughs> not Shibuya what Square do you make is a fucked. Crossbow work with painting. Not Shibuya Station is fucked. Or, you know, they, they could be in France. Who knows? <laughs> look at this fish band in the foreground. Holy oh. shit, look at that dude. 
He's a unit. He is. Oh, I love him. I want more on that guy. More story on him, please. What the fuck is this cyberpunk looking ass? Yeah, this is definitely Splatoon 3. Yeah. There it is. Nice oh. logo. Nice logo, man. Oh, and they are going to show us gameplay. Good. All right, let's see what weird change they've made to the gameplay now. I'm not expecting it to be much different, but... This fucking music. It's going to get content ID claimed, I'm sure. Oh, what's that? You enjoy our Nintendo music from us here at Nintendo? Uh, get fucking nanade, bitch. We're gonna destroy your YouTube. <laughs> the ink. Next year. Okay. Well, that was a good ending. Gameplay looks largely the same from the little snippets they showed. Yep. I'm mostly interested in the single player. What you've just that was a lot of black screen. <laughs> in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Yeah, as you predicted, Sfonsi, the third party stuff was pretty underwhelming. First party, however, it's pretty good. First party was pretty good. Yep. Yeah, that was pretty good. I'm excited for Rise to come out. Mm hmm. I want to hunt some monsters, new and old. Yeah. Probably pick up Skyward Sword. Since I yeah, now that it has yet. a normal ass control that's scheme, good. I definitely want to pick it up too. I'm definitely excited for Splatoon three, so that's a good game for next year. And I gotta say, it's weird they didn't talk about the Pokemon anniversary. Yeah, what it's weird they didn't announce that? the damn remakes that are more or less confirmed. Remakes of what? I think Pearl and um Diamond. Oh, oh. Well, that'd be nice. I believe they're remaking those. Yeah. Um, wow. Neither of my predictions came true. No Pokemon, no Sonic. That was interesting. Yeah. That was, yeah. Well, I mean, Nintendo's king of left field. You say one thing and they're like, oh, we're going to be contrarian. That's, That's still crazy. These dudes really said, we know you're excited for Breath of the Wild too. We don't have anything to say <laughs> about that. Like holy hey, fuck! Hey, I would much rather <laughs> I would much rather them be honest like that than uh, uh, you know, just be like, hey, have like a five second snippet, <laughs> you know. So, so unfortunately, when they show that snippet, like, um, I remember Bioware at um EA's whatever it was <clears throat> showed like pre pre alpha footage of like their next game. Mm -hmm. Like, it was almost just a ragdoll attacking. I'm like, I appreciate you for at least being honest in how far behind and how far away you are from this game coming up. Mm -hmm. I do have to say I'm kind of disappointed on uh, nothing on Metroid Prime 4. So, rip. That game is definitely yeah, like... <laughs> we're going to have to wait for like two more years before we get anything on Metroid What year Prime did 4. they announce that they restarted the fucking development again? That was last year... Yeah, we're yeah, we're not getting anything until like twenty twenty three at the earliest. Yeah. Especially because I think that game is gonna be um it'll come out for Switch, but Metroid Prime four is gonna be a launch window title for the Switch Pro, whatever that's gonna be. Oh yeah, that's right. People were talking about the Switch Pro. Yeah. That's that they're gonna use that to push the new one. They'll be like, look how good this is on the Switch Pro, or whatever they end up calling it. 
Oh boy, I can't wait to go onto Twitter and see everyone shitting their pants about everything, and everyone complaining about a sword fighter, another one for Smash Brothers, which I mean, to be fair, kind of justified complaining about another sword fighting character, but that's neither here nor there. All right, well, gentlemen, do you have anything else to say? Um, um, looks like I'll be keeping my Switch for a little while longer. <laughs> Were you thinking of selling it? I actually was. Really? After I beat um, Xenoblade Chronicles, I was thinking of just selling it because there was nothing else coming out that had me extremely excited. All right, also, well, the, well if, you do, whole... if you do end up, like, deciding to sell your switch uh let me let me cop a look at them games to see if there's anything that i can buy from you oh i'm keeping the games oh uh, fair enough i i, I, what, I what i'm gonna do is probably just sell it until the switch pro comes out then get that one <laughs> what if what if they never do a switch pro just buy the switch successor <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough yeah, right. I'm, I'm not down with it. I'll put it this way. I've got a computer with a 2070, a PS5, and a Switch. One of these things is very much not like the other. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. All right. Uh, Mr. Wem, have anything to say? Uh, seeing the, the, the Zelda one, um, Skyward Sword, that's what it was. Yeah, I yeah. want to play that one. I, I've seen gameplay of it like back then but i didn't have like a console to play it on yeah but yeah now that it's like out and as you guys say it's got like actual controls that you can use <laughs> yeah that that's that's just me being a, a salty bitch about how the controls are <laughs> um but yeah i savanti uh sorry i said your name i gotta have to censor that um vaughn you you remember like years ago when we were sitting just like we were having like a late night dinner with all of us together and we were t i was talking about skyward sword and i proposed the idea that the sword be mapped to the analog stick in a style similar to star wars obi-wan on the original xbox i fucking i fucking suggested that and look at that it's finally come true i am so happy about that and for, of course, for people who wanted to do motion controls, yes, that option is still there. But who gives a fuck? I have a normal ass control scheme. My two major problems with the game are one, the pacing of the story, and two, the bullshit controls never working and being annoying as piss. Hopefully, half of the problem is fixed. So, yeah. I'm very grateful about that. Oh, another thing that should be fixed. Um. There was a really annoying problem whenever you would collect materials and then turn the game off, turn it back on, and then collect that same material again uh, in, like, a different area. It would give you the exact same prompt of what that material is. Hopefully that doesn't happen anymore, because holy shit, that was annoying. <laughs> but that's all I have to say. Um, if that's the end of that, then I do believe I'm going to end it here. Anything else to say? Another direct, another lack of Metroid Prime Trilogy. So, um, oh, fuck me. You're right. I completely let's forgot see how about long that. this streak keeps going. It's <laughs> never going to happen. That's another reason I might sell my Switch. If they don't freaking port that game to them, definitely selling it. Dude, like, Metro Prime Trilogy and F Zero is never going to fucking happen. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. And if it does happen, it's not going to be for like five more years where the Switch is on its death throes. If, you, and, if it even lasts this that is long. why. And this is why a cheap computer with Dolphin is better than the Switch. All right. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. In some respects, yes. You know yes. what? A, a decent computer with Yuzu is also better than the Switch. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, legal gray areas aside, I do believe I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can see over there, jacobruso.com, for uh, an insight into my photography and other multimedia works, including short films and whatnot. Uh, on Twitter at RetroTechComs and at Von Red One on on uh, Von Red One yeah. on Twitter and YouTube. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, I got, got a, I got a little bit brain jammed for a second there. Uh, I've got Demon Souls bosses up on my channel. I just, I broke the game with magic. So if you want to see something hilarious, 
go check out those videos. Yeah, Von Red One on YouTube. Uh, the normal noisy worm on Twitch. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, speaking of Twitch, Retro Tech Comms on Twitch. Go ahead and check that out. Uh, you can also go to Retro Tech Comms, the archives on YouTube. I played Half Life and I fucking lost my mind in session two, so that's very entertaining to watch. But anyway, I do believe I'm going to call it there. It is. This is Jacob Retrotech signing off. Have yourselves a fantastic night or day, wherever you are. I don't care. And take care. That I do care about. You taking care. This is a terrible outro. Just fucking cut it off. Kill me. End me. Just end me. End my career. Why do I even try? <laughs>